Well, when you're excited, it's hard to come in here and do this sometimes. Not sure what to say, but uh, you know, I'm really proud of the guys. Uh, you know, at, at times tonight, we were really good. Uh, we obviously have a little bit of a tendency to get a 20-point lead and let people back in it, but it's part of college basketball, too. You know, I think they started making some shots. We got a little sloppy, but uh, really proud of our win. Um, a lot of pressure on these kids right now, and uh, to see them perform the way they have without Daniel in there is really a neat thing. Well, he's really good, obviously. That's an understatement, I guess, but I've been really impressed with Marcus all year long. And, you know, there's a lot of pressure on him these days. You know, he's trying to, trying to help this team do something that's never been done before. Uh, obviously, that record's been out there uh, all year long and talked about a lot. And it's often very hard to play well when, when you're – his focus is really good, but everybody else is talking about other things. But I've been really impressed with him. I thought he we, – we've asked Marcus a little bit more lately to be more aggressive on the floor. And uh, I think – Start the ball game. He's pretty aggressive, and uh, I love it. I love the way he plays the game, but but he keeps his teammates very involved in everything that goes on. A, a little bit, and we were bothered by that. You know, we really were, uh, and, and I don't think it was necessarily an intentional thing. But we we actually talked at a timeout one time that hey, listen, you guys got to play. We can't watch Marcus play right here, and because uh, that's very unusual for our team, really. Uh, but it's a team that really likes one another. They're obviously really pulling for Marcus to, to break this record. Uh, and uh, I, I do think that happened tonight. I really do. I do. I do. And I, I don't think either one of those is really good. You know, we want, we want, want him to keep playing. Uh, uh, but again, it's the unselfish nature of Marcus, I think, as a player. Uh, and then, boy, when we needed him down a stretch, he was there. Uh, I mean, what clutch plays. Uh, you know, beautiful backdoor pass from Omar to Terry when it got down to five. And then Marcus made a couple jump shots there late, which was really impressive. I'm just really proud for Marcus. I mean, this is not about him. I mean, and I think our team really understands that. But I am happy for him. Uh, you know, he's, uh, he's helped take this program to a new level. Uh, and he deserves it. I mean, he works so hard. Uh, I've said it many times before, but I've never coached a player that spent as much time in the gym as Marcus Thornton, ever. It was probably a combination of things. I mean, we, we stopped playing hard. We stopped playing with energy. And uh, I thought the first half, we were all over the place. I mean, we were bouncing around, uh, you know, playing with a little bit of fire in our belly. And then we got that 20-point lead, and it became very easy to score on us. And uh, maybe I didn't do a good job substituting, and maybe had some guys out there too long. Um, but uh, some of those guys, it's hard to take off the floor sometimes, too. But uh, maybe we got a little tired. Uh, and they started making shots. I mean, let's, let's be honest. I mean, the first half, they had a lot of balls go in and out you know, that they, they're capable of making. And they started making some shots, too. Well, it's a good question. And, and I'm not quite sure at, at this point. But uh, we've handled it better lately than we did two or three weeks ago when we were in first place. And, and uh, I don't think we responded very well as a group to that. Uh, I think right now we're responding really well because they've learned to focus on what's important, and that's the game we're playing. Uh, and that's really hard for this team because it doesn't matter where we go or who we're talking to, they're not talking about this game. They're talking about this is our year, you know, first time ever. And that's a dangerous thing. And I think we've really talked a lot about, you know, keeping our focus where it needs to be. Um, and I think our kids are finally understanding that and buying into it. I mean, our, our focus was really good tonight. I mean, we've been on the road for a while and a uh, you know, great crowd in here tonight and, uh, you know, something pretty special with, within reach for this team right now. And I was really proud of how we focused and played. <laughs> He's in, incredible. I mean, I, I said this on the radio. I mean, Marcus Thornton is a tremendous player. Uh, had a sensational night. Terry might have been better uh, across the board. I mean, uh, He's a stat stuffer. I've used that term a lot, but uh, he makes us makes it go for us. You know, and when he's active defensively, you know, I said at halftime we got to give Terry some help. I think he had seven or eight rebounds, and nobody else had more than about two. So, you know, we got to give the kids some help. But I've, I've, I've never coached a player who impacts the game in so many ways. Uh, you know, he he's our one of our best defenders. He's scoring the ball well right now. Uh, he's our best rebounder. But he had five blocks tonight, something like that. You know, assist. He, he just does it all. And 
but his energy may be important in all those things for our ball club. Uh, and I'm really proud for Terry because he went through a really difficult stretch a couple weeks ago. You know, it started with Delaware more or less, than, and they didn't guard Terry. You know, they just let him play and kept his man in the lane. Uh, it was a tough night for Terry, and uh, he's responded to that remarkably well uh, with great play, great play since that day. He's a tough kid, I'll tell you that. It's crucial. I mean, it's crucial. I mean, it really is. And not just him, but other players as well. Uh, what's neat about this team, you know, is it, it, it um, you know, we're playing without a really good player, in Daniel Dixon, and surviving. Not just surviving, but, you know, hanging on to first place right now. Um, we, we see a night when, you know, Sean Sheldon had a tough night, but Tom Schalk steps up, you know. Omar was, was good but not great tonight, you know, and somebody steps up for this team all the time. We're deep enough. I thought Connor Birchfield was great tonight. I don't think he scored, but maybe, what do you have? Two points, but he had three big rebounds, and he did all the things the right way for us today. Really great minutes off the bench. Uh, he's, you know, I'd be really disappointed, to be honest, if he doesn't play Saturday. Uh, it, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to practice tomorrow, and he needs that practice. You know, he was going to be the first time he was free to get up and down and play without any restriction. So that's not good for Daniel. It might be good for the rest of the team, though. I mean, a little bit of rest this time of the year is not a bad thing. Well, I, I think our 3-2 our zone has been our, our staple here lately. And, I, I, you know, I, my staff doesn't get enough credit sometimes. I mean, I think, you know, from Jonathan to Cody to Austin, they're really good. I mean, their, their minds are really good. Jonathan is, you know, we talked about this all summer, changing our zone. Uh, he did a lot of leg work on this thing. We, we watched a lot of film. I want to give Jonathan a lot of credit for our, our zone right now. It's a, it's a staple for us. It's saving us. Because, uh, our, honestly, our man-to-man -man is just okay. Just okay. But we do change, try to keep people off balance a little bit. Uh, it's a good feeling, you know. It's a lot better that we won. You know, uh, we're in a great position right now as a team, so that's kind of my focus, and I'm, I'm really proud of my team and where we're at right now and what, uh, what we have to look forward to. Um, I came off the screen and rolled, I believe. Uh, the lane kind of opened up. You know, I think uh, whoever was guarding me got hung up uh, on a, on the ball screen, and lanes kind of opened up. So I uh, just wanted to attack, you know, regular play, uh, go up and make a play, and uh, luckily I got fouled and was able to make two free throws. Uh, I don't think I approached it in any special way, you know. Um, my focus, you know, my focus was the same as it's been all year. You know, I do well for my team, score the ball, you know, be a leader out there and uh, play good defense. So um, it's pretty normal for me. You know, obviously there's a lot of excitement, you know, around uh, surrounding it. But uh, uh, because of my teammates, you know, coaching staff and just, you know, our, our general program, I was able to play, you know, pretty normal and uh, have a good game. Yeah, that was a good moment for me. That was a good moment for me. Uh, you know, definitely a relief uh, to get there. I know, my, I know the coaching staff and my teammates were proud for me. And uh, it was definitely a great moment. Uh, no, not necessarily. You know, uh, we have a lot of... A lot of great players that can do a lot of great things, you know. So just uh, running the offense, we were a little held to skelter in the first half, you know, as far as our execution goes. So, um, you know, just getting back to our offense and uh, they're kind of keying in on me. So that leaves the other guys open. And we have, you know, Terry making great plays, uh, had a tremendous second half. So um, we have a lot of ways we can hurt teams. So, uh, you know, it doesn't always have to be me. And that's the great thing about our team. That's why we're successful. Uh, I think a lot of it was on the defensive end. We were, you know, they were kind of scoring, scoring on us at will. And so once we buckle down defensively, kind of leads into our offense, you know, cutting hard, making the right pass, being just crisp on the offensive end. Um, and like Marcus said, we got a lot of weapons, a lot of people that can hurt you. And, you know, if we run our offense, it really, really allows all those weapons to work. We're proud of him, but, you know, that's, I wouldn't say that's his number one goal or the team's number one goal. Um, I mean, we're proud of him. He's going to be try to find a gym to shoot up in tomorrow. Um, and, yeah, we got more work to do, and he, I think he's on the same page.